In a pre-pandemic world, this espresso bar was a bustling hub in the community. It's much quieter now. Previously, it could seat more than 50 customers. Now there's space for just 14. It's really hard work. I was, I was, uh, I think, from mid of February to uh, end of June. I was working constantly, <laughs> just to you know rearrange, to find new ways, new possibilities to to create turnover here and to keep my staff and you know and to empower them, you know, to push forward into a shop which is running completely different. Paul Bonner kept his staff thanks to government wage support. During lockdown, he sold coffee beans out the window. Now he has a socially distanced terrace area. The shop itself is too small to allow customers safely inside. We still are making high quality products, but the experience, the experience in our shop was always more than that. Uh, it's also ex uh, an experience of ambience. So how does it feel to be in the shop? How is the lightning? How is the fancy machines are looking like? You know, this kind of stuff and the nice menu always fresh and prepared for you and also the service like uh, usually um, service is really important for us also in terms of proper recommendations to spend time with the customers to lead them through an experience in our place and this is actually not really possible anymore. Normally a third of Bonner's turnover comes from selling espresso machines and training baristas that's now completely gone so too is the catering side of his business Casualties of a pandemic which has caused consumer spending in Germany to shrink by 11% between April and June. The economic slump of the last quarter is worse than during the financial crisis more than a decade ago. And it's the sharpest decline since Germany began recording quarterly GDP calculations in 1970. Bonner managed to keep his business afloat by selling coffee beans online, thanks to a large and loyal customer base. He says a willingness to adapt is the only way for businesses to survive. The businesses who are strong and try to you know, reinvent themselves, they will go out stronger out of the crisis. The, and the ones who can't will die, right? But ahead are fresh challenges. The outdoor seating isn't an option in the winter months. Bonner believes countless businesses will fail in the coming months. He's determined that his own will not be among them. Isabel Ewing, CGTN, Mines.